Hi, this is Bill. On this demo, I'll be showing you how to create email notifications in ServiceNow. So at the moment, you see the primary content already. I'm on the notifications. And how to get here is basically do a search of notifications. And we scroll down, there's quite a few. You can see that ServiceNow supports, right? So you have um, push and provider and right now we're discussing email notifications and now this main content on the right that you see right so you have um, pre-configured already of the box created um for you by service now right so on on the column side you have the name um, is it active what table is it um, originating from right and it inherits from an email template right and and it also has a condition right so let's deep dive and drill down on one of the email pre-configured already by service now and as we come in the logic is pretty much straightforward similar to what we have previously discussed like from the workflow and also from other other feature set Right, so so now you could see from the top. So while it is still loading, right? So you have um the name, right? Um, so the naming conventions here is identifiable, right? So make sure that it is identifiable based on your um, um activity or action, right? So as we go to the next one, it's a table. So what we're trying to say here is on this table, all, all the um, fields uh, from the form, which has been populated by that particular persona, will dynamically be consumed, right? Um, consumed from that particular form. Now let us scroll down further, right? When is it going to be sent, right? So this condition, it doesn't send an email anytime you want. Right, so it, it creates a condition, right? So you can see, right, um, if there's any record that's been inserted or updated, right, and to whom, right, and who will receive it. So, so basically, it could be one user, right? It could be a group, right? And of course, um, I'm already fully familiar. Probably my assumption that you already know how to create an email. So it's pretty much the same, right? So you have a subject, you have a body. And one of the main advantages here is, is the fields. You have declared the table or a module in service now. And easily as you click this, right, it will appear. So this is the variable, right? And you could put any text that you want in HTML format. So that's the power of um, this notification because you could build HTML as written here, right? You could um, change the source code, right? And be more artistic, right? Or you could basically be creative, right? So let us go back. Um, this is a template. So I, I always um, recommend start with a template, right? Um, you're not starting from zero. Um, these are already service now pra best practices. and and start from there, right? If you have exhausted the platform and you see it's not there yet, and that is where you begin to customize, right? So uh, it, it's a no-code platform, and I would like to basically emphasize that. And it's all about productivity, right? So um, it could be building the best custom code and so on, but it will take time. Right, and you have to start from zero, and it's not recommended, right? So from from scratch, you could put a name, of course, uh, for any table that you want to, right, and categorize it accordingly, right, and and there you go. This is an empty one, and if it's an empty one, then there will be no field. So depending, right, as you um. You may have built a custom application, right? Since email is part of the platform, it's, I mean, email notification is part of the platform. You could definitely um, 
um, use this all throughout um, your, uh, depending on your direction. Now, uh, there's another setting that I'd like to share with you, the email properties. You have to configure this, right? So uh, be able to send or receive emails, right? So so um, make sure this is um, configured accordingly. So this is self-explanatory. And, and um, I hope um, I managed to help you. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next videos.